Very disappointed that someone could stoop that low. Who would steal donated memorabilia from a military museum? That's what veterans want to know as Naples police investigate a rash of thefts at the military museum inside the Naples airport. We're talking things like service medals and other sentimental items. Four in your corners, Carl Forte in Naples tonight explaining investigators believe this could be an inside job. Carl? Well, we're talking about items that veterans and their families had collected from their service in our armed forces and just wanted to donate to this museum at the Naples airport to share with others. Naples police say they do have a suspect in mind, but veterans I spoke to say what the thief is accused of is pretty hard. They're stealing their valor. World War II veteran Harold Levitt's B-29 bomber was shot down over Japan in 1945. He spent six months as a POW. He says it's hardly conceivable that someone was stealing service memorabilia meant for the military museum at Naples Airport. The family has given them these mem memorabilia and so other people could see what others have sacrificed their lives for and to steal that. I can't conceive of it. He can't imagine that anyone who was in the service or even has a veteran in the family would steal the priceless items that were meant to be shared at the museum, which displays everything from aircraft models to historic photos from World War II to the medals that some men paid for with their lives. Items that were donated to museums or whatever from the family and for somebody to confiscate it. Uh, it is very disappointing. Museum President Bob McDonald says the theft of memorabilia had been apparently going on for years, and he suspects a formerly trusted staff member who was in charge of taking in donated items. You never know somebody, I guess. He says he only caught on to what was happening when families kept coming to the museum to see what they donated on display, and often not finding it. I can show them the list and say, this is all I know that we got, and then they, they would say, no, there was more stuff than that. McDonald says the museum's board finally decided to press charges against their associate, who he said he couldn't name. Now, Naples police have not yet confirmed that any arrest has been made in this case. We will let you know if and when that happens. In Naples, Carl 48, Fox 4, in your corner.